Today marks my last day as U.S. Under Secretary of State. It's been the honor of a lifetime. Prior to joining the government, I had the good fortune of living the American dream as an entrepreneur and a business leader. As Under Secretary, my goal was to serve as an ambassador for that American dream, to spread that beacon of light throughout the world through diplomacy and to secure its promise for future generations of Americans. When I was asked in my Senate confirmation hearing, what would be my strategy with regard to the China challenge? I said I would harness the U.S.'s comparative advantage in three areas, further strengthen our relationship with our allies and our friends, leverage the innovation and resources of the private sector, and amplify the moral high ground of democratic values. In today's world, economic statecraft is the tool of choice, and economic diplomacy has turned out to be the most crucial element of the State Department's mission. We have thousands of officers, civil and foreign service, representing the strength and diversity of America, all working to maximize national security, safeguard America's assets, combat economic aggression, and drive economic growth. Throughout the pandemic, these unsung heroes work feverishly to round up PPE, secure our supply chains, repatriate 100,000 American citizens, and build the Clean Network Alliance of Democracies. And that's why I always tell my friends in Silicon Valley, whenever you see a career foreign or civil service officer, you thank them for their service. And to my friends in the foreign service and the civil service, you are sensational. You're my friends for life. And keep being that force for good in the world so that when you go down the dark river of death and its chill waters dampens your feet, you may be able to say, looking back on your past life, I fought the good fight. I finished my work. And the United States has gained new luster by my life. Bidding you Godspeed, my friends, I greet you forever in the bonds of America's great diplomatic corps.